Utah basketball, Utes come up short on the road again. Provo Utah coach Larry Kreiskowiak smirked after walking past the BYU student section and to his team's bench at the Marriott Center. Kreiskowiak, who opted to pull the Utes out of a scheduled game here last year for a cooling off period following recent incidents in the rivalry, received a lot of jeers from the crowd. Kreis Kowiak was booed loudly during pregame introductions and was the target of group chants like Katie Grand and That's Not Safe, referring to the cancellation fee he paid and reasons he gave for putting things on hold. Decked out in a red sport coat, Kreis Kowiak weathered it well. What he couldn't control, however, was a decisive run the Cougars rained down on the Utes in the first half. It proved decisive as BYU went on to defeat Utah 77-65 late Saturday night. Leading 13-11, the Cougars reeled off 10 straight points to net some breathing room. The burst took less than two minutes to complete and was exactly what Christ Kowiak hoped to avoid going into the game. Such runs proved costly in losses to UNLV in Las Vegas and at Butler. At the end of the day we just need to be a lot more fundamentally sound and tougher to eliminate those bad stretches, Christ Kowiak said earlier in the week. Christ Kowiak added that the Utes needed to have some maturity and playmaking ability to put an end to such things and not let them magnify. Although Utah managed to cut what had been a 13-point deficit down to five on two occasions, the Utes could draw no closer down the stretch. All three of their losses this season have come away from home. Prior to the latest setback, Christ Kowiak said that it's not really that complicated. There's no special formula, he added. And now you've got yourself something funky. You just have very little margin for error to beat a good team on the road, Christ Koyak explained. Seldom do teams beat themselves at home. You've got a little momentum, you've got some energy with the crowd. In a typical game, he continued, there are anywhere from five to seven things that are points of emphasis that you must be solid at. You can't bat point two zero zero on those things and expect to come out of there with a win, Christ Kowiak said. You kind of get what you deserve. You've got to be really good in a lot of different facets of the game. On Saturday, BYU prevailed on several pivotal fronts. The Cougars shot a better percentage than the Utes, 51.946.4 made more three-pointers, 10-5, and doubt rebounded them, 33-28. Calm.